In this video, I'll show you how to install Hadoop using a Hortonworks Sandbox. We'll also be setting up various services on Ambari. Uh, we'll be doing this uh, starting with you know, downloading uh, the software from Hortonworks website. And uh, we will also be using an Oracle VirtualBox in order to um, you know, install the uh, Sandbox and uh, access all the services. So Sandbox is nothing but a bundle of uh, all the services that uh, Hadoop uh, provides. For example, uh, it comes with an uh, HDFS, Hive, Peak, uh, Spark, and many other uh, services, uh, which you can uh, use it uh, in order to you know learn uh, many services in just one uh, sandbox environment. All right, so let's get started. I'm on Google now, so just go ahead and type in Hortonworks Sandbox Download, and the very first result is um, is from the Hortonworks. So previously Hortonworks and Cloudera were two different companies but a few years back they merged and uh, they provide uh, both the solutions um, under one umbrella. So uh, as soon as you open the Cloudera website you see uh, two softwares. The first one is a Hortonworks uh, HTP, uh, Hortonworks data platform and the other one is on the Cloudera data flow uh, which is an Ambari. Right, so for this demonstration, uh, I'll be downloading the Hortonworks uh, sandbox here. So in order to do that, uh, go ahead and click on the download button. And here uh, you should be, um, you know, selecting the type of installation. Um, basically, so this is, um, a, as I said, you know, it's a bundle of all the services uh, which comes in a bundle. Uh, we will have to choose either the virtual box or the VMware or the docker uh, in order to uh, install the sandbox and then start using it All right so in this example uh, we will be choosing the uh, virtual box uh, virtual box is nothing but um, a software uh, provided by oracle and which is very famous and many people uh, use this virtual box uh, alright let's click on go ahead uh, initially it will ask you to uh, create uh, your own user account uh, so there is no way to you know skip it so go ahead and create your own account and I already have the account, so let me log in with this. Once you enter your uh, username and password, click on login. So once this is uh, redirected, uh, you will be allowed to, um, you know, download, uh, you know, the HTTP. On the right hand side, you can see that uh, HTTP comes with, uh, you know, uh, all these famous. Um, uh, uh, services which is Apache, Hadoop, uh, Spark, Hive, HBase and many more uh, services which we'll be looking into it. Uh, so for now let's go ahead and uh, choose this virtual box and click on uh, go ahead and now there's a small um, you know acceptance here just go ahead and click on accept and submit and here uh, down below it will ask you uh, which version of the sandbox you want to uh, download. So you still have access to the older one, uh, but uh, for now uh, I'll go ahead with uh, the latest one. Click on uh, the latest uh, software and as you see uh, the entire software is getting installed and the initial HTTP uh, is about 20 GB. So you will have to uh, make sure you have you know better internet connectivity and all. In order to use this sandbox, uh, we will also need another software called as uh, Oracle VirtualBox. You can simply go to virtual, uh, virtualbox.org or download. Um, so once you open this website, uh, you will see uh, Windows hosts, right? This is the latest version of the uh, virtual box available. So go ahead and click on this. So let this uh, software also uh, download. Uh, once this uh, HTTP um, sandbox is downloaded, I will uh, show you how to use uh, the virtual box and how do we import uh, HTTP you know, sandbox um, and then start using it. So I'm going to pause this video until uh, this uh, you know, installation is over. The virtual box is already downloaded so let's go ahead and click on it. So this will bring us uh, the installation uh, wizard for uh, the virtual virtual box. Uh, so this is the installation window just go ahead and click uh, next and you can um, you know since uh, I already have the software either I have an option to repair or remove but uh, if you don't have it uh, you will get a custom installation or you know full installation uh, go ahead and click on next 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 it will install uh, it for you uh, once this is done um, you can go to uh, your start menu 
just type in Oracle VirtualBox and uh, this is the initial window how it looks um, initially you will not have this uh, Hortonworks sandbox uh, already in this place um, in order to uh, create uh, a new uh, virtual desk all we have to do is you know click on new and uh, you will have to browse to a path where you have downloaded your um, you know, HTTP uh, sandbox right that's uh, the 20 GB uh, file which is uh, which will have the uh, you know file extension as dot ova you know oracle virtual um, you know uh, machine so you will have to uh, browse for that file and then click here and then click ok uh, you will have to uh, also set the memory size settings here uh, it really depends on how much uh, the memory you have uh, in my case uh, my computer has got 32 gb ram so i'm going to set uh, somewhere like 16 GB uh, so that it, it works perfectly fine otherwise uh, minimum it requires 8 GB uh, 16 GB uh, you will have you know much better performance so once you set this uh, all you can do is just go ahead and create uh, once you uh, do this create uh, you will you'll be getting um, you know the option uh, like this right it, it shows hot and work sandbox another version uh, currently the state is powered off uh, all you have to do is uh, click on this and click on start so what this will do is it will use this image and it will start uh, you know spinning up all the services so this is the time consuming process uh, for the very first time uh, it's going to take a lot of time uh, based on your uh, system performance um, I would say an, at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes it will be taken up by uh, this software to spin up uh, the sandbox since I have already used it, uh, so it is uh, quite uh, quicker for me. And as you see, uh, it is now uh, you. It, it uses CentOS uh, Linux uh, in order to spin up this entire cluster, right? So once uh, this uh, sandbox is in up and running, uh, you will be able to see uh, this window. So here um, you can see that your virtual box, you know, there is a welcome screen, uh, SSH. And also, if you are using VMware, uh, there is a um, you know port and uh, IP details as well. So since we have used a virtual box, uh, it is quite easier uh, to you know get uh, get into this uh, box now. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with the SSH first. SSH is where we uh, will be you know logging into uh, this box and uh, we'll set up some. Uh, user accounts there and then we'll log into Ambari so for that I will go ahead and open up um, uh, uh, Google Chrome and here uh, I will be uh, using that localhost 881080 so this is the uh, initial screen that you will be um, you know seeing uh, soon after uh, your sandbox is imported uh, so here you will it will show um, uh, you know launch a dashboard uh, option here uh, and also as you see uh, the it actually gives a pop-up and most of the browser nowadays uh, the pop-up will be blocked so make sure you allow your uh, pop-up right um, so this is how you can launch uh, the dashboard on the right hand side you see the advanced uh, HTTP uh, settings there is a quick links uh, under it uh, first we would uh, you know check the quick links so here um, it will give you uh, you know quick URL the URL port numbers and you know what is the username password everything uh, instructions uh, to set the password everything is you know listed here uh, otherwise if you directly launch uh, using this new HTTP you know the launch dashboard uh, you will be lost uh, what username and password to use so I recommend you uh, to go through this advanced HTTP quick links uh, from there you can actually check the URLs and um, username password the same way uh, your data analytics audio uh, and there are many other uh, services as well so in this case uh, let's go ahead and um, you know use the Ambari so as you notice uh, the username and password is this raj underscore ops and the password is also same Right, so in order to uh, create another users and also look at uh, our uh, file system I will go ahead and launch uh, the SSH first so for that uh, we will have to log into uh, localhost 
and the port number is uh, 4200 once you enter this uh, you will be given a prompt uh, to log in um, so you don't need any uh, putty or any other equivalent software to log in so this is all done through the web app um, on the port uh, 4200 so initially go ahead and type in uh, root account and the default password would be uh, Hadoop um, but uh, if you are installing uh, latest software or any other uh, version then you may want to check um, you know the quick links or uh, any other documentation uh, so in my case I have already set my password so I'll use my new password but if you are uh, logging in for the very first time it will ask you to uh, enter the password uh, and also change it um, you will have to change uh, your root account uh, as soon as you log in. So once you are able to log in, uh, you will have you can uh, issue certain commands like Hadoop version. Uh, so this will uh, give you um, you know the version of Hadoop that is running on the sandbox. So uh, this is one command, and there are several other commands uh, you can issue. We will be looking into those uh, in the coming uh, lectures. Uh, so for now, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, change the Ambari admin password uh, so for that uh, you will have to uh, type in a command called Ambari dash admin password reset so this is how you can even type uh, type in full or else you can uh, just type in Ambari and then hit tab it will get you this uh, prompt um, go ahead and uh, hit enter now it will ask you to uh, set the password for your Ambari account I'll go ahead and type in my new password and I will uh, enter the password again. So now uh, the Ambari password is now set. Uh, what it does by default uh, is that it will uh, restart the Ambari services um, server um, because of this you know, uh, password change. And once this uh, server is restarted, uh, we will go ahead and log into uh, the Ambari. Okay, so now um, the server uh, started and listening on the port uh, 8080, right? And there are no errors and no warnings uh, found. So the next step is to log in uh, to um, your Ambari account. Um, for that, uh, just go ahead and type in localhost and uh, you can type in 808080, hit enter. Okay, so as you see, uh, this is the Ambari screen. Ambari is a management console. This is where uh, an administrator would be logging in and also uh, looking at all the various services, right? So now we have used, um, we have reset the account for admin. So we'll use that admin account with the new password that we have set. <clears throat> so once you log in, uh, it, it gets you to the dashboard. And initially you see uh, on the left hand side uh, this dashboard all the services in green that are already running right now and the ones that are in red they are not running because uh, it is not going to start all the services uh, it's going to consume you know a lot of memory on uh, the disk and also you know memory so in order to uh, you know uh, start only the necessary service um, the basic service which is in you know, HDFS yarn and then the map reduce uh, hive uh, uzi zookeeper those uh, services would be um, you know online okay so let's look at um, other options here uh, let's click on the hdfs uh, so this is the hdfs summary wherein you will see uh, whether your name node is started or not and uh, if it is up uh, for what time you know it is up what is the usage uh, and also whether it is started or not and you see here data nodes uh, it shows one one slash one which is we have only one sandbox right well, there's only one data node uh, in this sandbox but in a real time uh, enterprises you may, you may have more than one uh, data nodes right but there is a one uh, name node um, and also the, there could be several data nodes Okay, so and uh, let's say you upgrade or do um, if the service is not uh, no responding properly on the right hand side you have an auction action uh, drop down this is where you can stop the service or uh, restart all just the restart the data node you have several options here uh, and this particular action comes for each and every service uh, whenever you uh, perform uh, any upgrades or any changes or you know config changes 
uh, most of the services require uh, you know restarting uh, so that it is uh, now usable so similarly as HDFS uh, you will also have a type ca tab called hive and uh, here also uh, you have this option you can um, you know do a restart stop and many other uh, you know operations here and uh, next thing is um, so let's say this HBase is uh, not running now so what we can do is uh, go ahead on this action and then click on start we'll confirm the start uh, now it is starting up the HBase service so this is how you actually bring up uh, services and if you don't need uh, some of the service uh, if your uh, box is having you know resource issues like me low memory and all uh, you can uh, probably stop the particular service right the service is now up click ok now edge base is active so if you are using if you're not using edge base or zookeeper or any other uh, services you can directly go ahead and stop it and only the service you want to you know work you can uh, enable and start using it